Okay guys, now this is going to be my second to final video on crockpot cooking. Again, the weather's warmer, you don't want to heat your homes, so you cook in a crockpot or on a hot plate or other appliance that keeps you from heating your home and raising energy bills. So, let me give you a few tips on crockpot safety. Now if you're like me and you love watching This Is Us, the episode where the crockpot burned down the house, resulted in the death of Jack, made you cry as much as it did me. But it made me really conscious and wanting to be really safe about using crock pots, whether they're brand new, a few years old, or you've been given a crock pot by an older family member, which happened in this episode. So here's a few things to help you be safe when using those this summer. Before I get started, be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this, as well as my other videos on faith, health, and beauty all year round. Generally, crock pots have shorter supply cords to help reduce the hazards of getting tangled or anyone tripping over them when it's a longer cord. You can use an extension cord, but make sure the marked electrical rating is at least as great as or even greater than the electrical rating of the crock pot that you're using. Also, the extension cord shouldn't be allowed to drape over the tabletop where it can be pulled on by a child or chipped over by anyone. But before you even start using it, inspect the cord for tears, for damage, turn over your crock pot on the bottom and make sure that it's still in excellent condition. Remove the liner or the stoneware and make sure that inside it looks in working order, that there is no bent areas, no chipped areas or damaged areas in the metal. Finally, inspect the stoneware itself. Flip it over, make sure there's no chips, make sure there's no cracks. Look all around and once you're sure that is in excellent condition, then you know you can use your crock pot safely. Now, if the stoneware has been preheated or is hot to the touch, don't pour in cold foods. Also, don't preheat your crock pot before using it, unless it's specified in the recipe, but hardly any recipes tell you to preheat a crock pot. It's just not safe. So, I recommend not doing it all. And it should be at room temperature before you're adding any hot foods. So that's another safety tip as well. If you have foods that have been in the crock pot and you want to reheat it, I would say if you do choose to do that, stay in the vicinity and watch the pot. It's generally not recommended in the booklet that you use a crock pot to reheat things. Use your own judgment deciding whether or not you want to do this. But I do it and I stay in the kitchen with it the entire time to make sure that nothing happens. If you want to use your crock pot to cook overnight, make sure it's away from any other appliances or items on your kitchen counter. Make sure there are no towels nearby, no glass, nothing that can accidentally be heated and possibly combust or cause a fire due to the heat. Crock pots get immensely hot on the outside, so hot that you can't touch them without a pot holder. So make sure that the air is completely clear if you're going to do it overnight. Again, make sure the, you've inspected it before using it to cook overnight. And I inspect a crock pot every single time I use it. I don't go by the last time I use it and assume it's safe the next time. Every single time before I plug it in, I inspect it completely, the base, the lid, and the stoneware and make sure it's in perfect working condition. It only takes a minute and you've got a minute. So take the time and make sure you and your family are safe. Also make sure that your base is clean inside. Sometimes if you add too much liquid, it overflows into the base. Make sure if you've done that, not only that you've cleaned it thoroughly, but you've allowed it to dry before you put it away and add the stoneware back in. If you're cooking overnight, make sure you don't put so much liquid that it overflows while you're asleep. Use 
caution and reduce the amount of liquid by a quarter cup to a half cup to make sure that it doesn't overflow. You can always get up in the morning and add that quarter to half cup that you left out and you'll still have the same amount of liquid required. Also, I like to make sure if I'm leaving it overnight that I do not have any ingredients or liquid up to the rim of the stoneware. I make sure it's at least two inches lower than that. There ends up being more liquid than I anticipated. It doesn't overflow. And last but not least, have fun using your crock pot. There's so many things you can make. There are cookbooks everywhere. You can even go online and look up recipes. It is a joy and is a blessing to have one because again, you don't have to have unnecessary heat in your home having rising heating costs because you've got your air conditioner trying to keep you cool or you've got fans all around again trying to reduce the heat in your home use that crock pot for vegetables meats grains rices breads cakes and so much more and enjoy the experience now if you have some helpful tips you use for crock pot safety let us know in the comments below and if this video has been helpful to you, and I really hope it has, be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this, as well as my other videos on faith, health, and beauty all year round. Now remember, I'm going to have one more crock pot hacks video for you. And then I'm moving on to another topic, but I thought this would be something exciting for you since crock pots are great to use in the warmer months. So, thanks for watching. See you next time.